about four schools within our college. So about 1,200 students across all four of our schools in the college. And um, this shows you all of the schools that we have and also all of the degree programs that we do offer, um, both undergraduate and graduate. Also the areas that um, a student can uh, pick up a minor in, um, which is pretty much all of our areas except for design, which is um, our school of design is specifically for um, both graphic and industrial design. Um, but you can pick up a minor in almost, almost all the other areas, including museum and exhibition studies, which is an area that's not offered as an undergraduate degree, but as a graduate degree program as well. Uh, so I just wanted to go through some of these uh, frequently asked questions that we have about design. Um, there is an error at this very top one. Uh, the mission is competitive, that's true, but you do actually apply through the UIC transfer application, which is found on the admissions website. Um, our applications are accepted August 1st to April 1st, uh, reviewed by both our UIC uh, admissions department as well as our student affairs office, so that does become important. We are reading all those essays and it is a holistic review in that way. Um, we do have, require a minimum GPA of 2.75. And that is true for all of our programs, um, uh, uh, no matter what program your student is applying to. We tend to see the average middle 50% GPA for a competitive, strong student um, for admission to our program uh, anywhere between a 2.9 to a 3.5. And that's a, a range due to the holistic nature of how we're, we're looking at um, applications. Uh, transferology is used for full equivalency information for transferable credits. Um, I will say that there are a couple things I'm going to mention about that. So we get a lot of questions about um, if classes that are taken will transfer um, to core classes in our curriculum. And for the most part, the answer to that question is that they will not transfer to core classes. Um, so things like the art curriculum, uh, the architecture studios that we have, um, our design classes, the um, classes that a student is currently taking will transfer for general education credits as well as elective credits. So it will lighten their load. Um, uh, but they will still have to go through the sequential course um, for their core classes in the area that they are um, uh, uh they are applying to. Um, we do have a couple of degree programs that are really uh, created for transfer students, and I'll take you through those um, in a moment here. Uh, one thing to note, too, that's really um, essential is that a portfolio is not required um, for program acceptance, with the exception of uh, theater design, production, and technology, which does require um, an interview and a portfolio presentation. Um, we don't require that a student has experience necessarily coming in, so it doesn't, um, the portfolio for uh, theater design production and technology doesn't have to um, look any certain kind of way. It can even be just a list of, of student of what a student has done, or if a student doesn't have a lot of experience coming in, it also could be a list of what a student would like to do or how they would tackle um, a certain, uh, you know, if they're doing sound design, like what, what choices they would make for a play, things like that. Um, and they can get further information about that on the um, uh, theater and music website as well. Um, we do uh, look at portfolios for students who are interested um, in advanced placement in art, art education, or architecture. So that is the only time uh, that we look at portfolios. So the student does not need to um, submit a portfolio for admission um, into any of our programs, but if a student does want to apply for advanced placement in those four classes, then they are um, uh, allowed to submit a portfolio and they can find um, that process either through their faculty um, or of course it's on our website as well. Um, there is an audition that's required for any area in theater or music. Um, so audition required for, and that is for admission into the program for either theater or music. Um, again, we do look at things holistically. Um, recommendation letters tend to be optional, but I would encourage your students to um, submit them, um, as well as paying attention to that strong personal statement, because again, that is something that we do read. There will be both a university statement as well as a program statement. So because we don't require those portfolios for admission, we are paying particular attention to uh, those personal statements, especially those program essays, to find out what the student um, really wants to do with that particular area that they're interested in, why they're 
passionate about it, what their goals are. So um, that does become a really important aspect of the application as well. Um, our spring term is only open to applicants in art history, theater, and music. So if you have students that are interested in art, uh, design, or architecture, those um, core classes are fall start only. Um, and we do not recommend that students transfer in the spring as an undecided student um, because it is not a guarantee that they will uh, then be accepted as an internal transfer into um, the program when it does start in the fall. So the best thing to do is, is wait and apply um, for that fall start only. So just to give you a, a brief overview of what the curriculum looks like in some of these areas, um, so uh, particularly for the School of Architecture, uh, we do have the Bachelor of Science in Architecture. That is a pre-professional four-year program. We also have a Bachelor of Arts in Architectural Studies, which is our transfer design degree. Um, so that one looks like this. The, this is an upper-level program that does require 60 hours of credit of uh, students coming in um, that can be completed in the two years. And this is really a stepping stone kind of a fast-track degree for um, your students who are interested in architecture, but then it's really a fast-track degree towards grad school. So they would be spending three years at the professional level, the graduate level, um, as they would continue on towards their um, license in architecture. Um, the portfolio requirement for advanced placement would not apply to this degree because it is only two years, so there's really only the opportunity to take the Architecture Studio 1 and 2 as well as the Special Topic Studio. The portfolio for advanced placement um, would come into play with this degree, the Bachelor of Science in Architecture, which again is a four-year sequence in terms of the design architecture design studio. So all of these general education requirements you see at the bottom of your screen, that would be where your student's credit will transfer um, so that they don't necessarily have to take um, exactly what is laid out here in terms of requirements. They would be open to pick up any minor that they would be interested in um, and really take anything that they wanted to fulfill those credits. Um, Usually what happens is if a student is interested in that advanced placement, um, what they would do is go through that portfolio review process with the faculty, uh, and they would likely start in uh, year two, so starting with um, Design Studio 205 and 206, so they would have um, that portfolio would get them uh, credit for that first year studio. So likely this degree would take um, uh, three years to complete if they were to get that um, acceptance into um, uh, advanced placement. Otherwise, it will take four years to complete. Um, so that's uh, something good to know for our transfer students in architecture in particular. Uh, just to give you an idea of uh, the degrees here in um, art and art history, a BFA in both art and art education, uh, as well as a BA in art history and interdisciplinary education in the arts. Um, or IDEAS. IDEAS is a great degree for transfer students because although it is laid out as a four-year degree, um, as you can see in year one and two, the general education foundation requirements, that is again where your student's credit would um, likely apply uh, here. So it, this degree can be finished in two years. So it is really ideal for a transfer student who's looking for, um, to come in and, and finish in, in that two years. Um, again, uh, if you have a student who's interested in the BFA in art or the BFA in art education, um, all of our students take the same foundational courses in the first year, and there is no portfolio required for admission again, but if a student does want to submit a portfolio um, for advanced placement and see if they uh, don't have to take any of these intro courses and they might be able to start, uh, for example, in these 200 level courses that you see here in year two, um, they, can, uh, they can do that for art um, as well and uh, that would include art education, since this program um, has the same uh, two year, first two years as the BFA in art, and then includes the professional core um, and educational theory and methodology, as well as the entire fourth year is all field work where a student is partnered with a CPS mentor um, and actually working as a teaching assistant, um, all in preparation to um, be able to take that certification and pass the certification exam in order to teach high school art in Illinois. Uh, so uh, for our Bachelor of Design programs that we have in both graphic and industrial design, I do want to say that these are the two degrees that will always be four years. So regardless of credit that's transferring in to complete your, um, uh, your student's general education or um, elective requirements, um, there uh, will not be credit that transfers towards any of these core classes, including the foundational year for our Bachelor of Design degree. So this will always be a four-year program. Uh, however, 
However, we do also have a three-year program, which is a Bachelor of Arts in Design and Studies, um, which is a really popular degree for our transfer students, as you have to be, you have to come in with pre-designed studies, which really can be in any area, um, a minimum of 20 hours of credit there, um, and then uh, any other uh, credit that you, the student has will also transfer towards um, their general education and foundation requirements here, and this degree can be completed in three years. For theater and music, so this is uh, one of the areas that we do accept spring applicants as well. And again, there is an audition requirement. Um, and I just want to show you what that is here. Um, so we have an acting audition requirement. The theater design requirement does include that portfolio. Um, our music uh, requirements might include prepared solo skills or sight reading, um, and the specifications will vary per instrument. A student will receive uh, an email communication about setting up that audition once they submit their application. So they should be on the lookout for that, and then we will follow up with them. And there are um, uh, dates to come in and audition in person, but we do also accept video auditions as well. Uh, one thing we are really excited about is we're going um, really looking to start um, doing audition workshops for students who are interested and maybe have some questions about what the process is. So we're in the process of figuring that out right now, and as soon as we have um, uh, sort of dates and ideas set up for that, we'd be happy to let you know about that as well. Uh, one thing to note is that um, students can be a part of um, our theater ensembles as well as our music ensembles regardless of if they are um, a major or not. And this just, uh, slide just gives you some information about our student life and what life is like here um, at UIC. We do have a lot of internship opportunities as well as peer-to-peer -peer mentorship programs. Um, all of our uh, programs do culminate in some sort of um, uh, senior thesis, whether it's a show or an exhibition or a performance. Um, we also have uh, working faculty, so every single one of our um, faculty members are active professionals in their field. Um, and uh, we also have student clubs and organizations as well as national chapters of professional organizations as a part of our um, uh, programs as well. And uh, lastly, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, GAT or TAG programs. Um, so uh, we do have uh, those uh, program set up uh, in the areas of architectural studies, that Bachelor of Arts in Architectural Studies, Art and Art History. So those are the um, uh, areas that we're, we offer those particular programs um, within our college. 